great showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about you will not. Gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Bam Bam! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. gets underway and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side and that's another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice one, two there. Whiffs on that offering. Not there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with those nice outside legs. See if he can finish. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Again. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. but unable to find the range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful kick. Just over three minutes to go. Big body kick lands. Flush right hand is true. Look at how 
he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, spinning back He didn't telegraph that one at all. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurts. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Connects with a right. Checks the leg kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, big head kick land. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. The one-two punch is true. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot pin down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He's looking to land the right just out of range. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Second round, straight ahead. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Ooh. Nice punch there. Went for the inside leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, huge Superman punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Blocks the shot. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Now connects with a right. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Leg kick. 
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Three minutes to go in round two. Just out of range with that right hook. Big kick land. Unable to land. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attacks. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his attacks. low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Moving left hand misses the target. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate Whoa! there, but he found it. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He blocks the punch. Big punch lands through the middle. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Nice leg kick lands. Misses with the left hook. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big kick lands. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pivot. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time driving a kick like that. I'll tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Real quick leg kick. Ten seconds to go. Punches blocked. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Big kick. Spinning back this. Back and forth we go here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh. 
Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, big punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just misses there with the left. Nice jab by Lee. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize that it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Boom, straight left hand. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice loop with punch. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. There's no give on that leg kick. Some real power shots here. Right hook to the body. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Nice strike. Very tricky throws that body kick. Hands up. Yeah. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a side kick. That side kick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Good punch. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Big kick. Big power shot there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he caught the kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, that's a nice strike. Yeah. 10 seconds to go. Head kick lands. Well, he misses with the left punch there. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed the seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting.
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent feels the pressure. Seems to be on his way out of the fight. What a body kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Just unable to quite find that ring. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Kick. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open. From the score, how's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just misses with the jet. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at his exact right moment. He deserves this focus. Go finish his fight. Lee's attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the grounded pound starts. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Lee's pass attempt denied. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Lee's right back to the full mount. Oh, he gives up his back here, DC. That's something that you almost never would do. No, you got to try not to give up your back, especially on a guy that's this good with the top control from the back position. No one just has that many rear naked choke victories without a great understanding of the position. He has to understand this, and he believes that he's the best back taker in the entire world, right. and he has an opportunity right now to show that. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, man, head kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big kick lands. How about that shin? And he counters with a left hand. Way to hide that leg kick. 20 seconds to go. He got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Really timing your show. Oh. How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, and we will go right into the corner of the fighter with that brutal cut on his nose. 
really, really bad here. You gotta think they're gonna, at the very least, call the doctor in. And if that cut gets any worse than it is now, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He is getting lit up right now, John. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, nice. Strike right there. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just missed on that spinning attack. Caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Nice kick. Leg kick. Just out of range with that left hook. It's on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting this. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Two minutes now to go in this one. That one snuck in. Nice strike. was lightning fast that right in. fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on it. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Can't take many of those, you gotta check. Now a counter with a body, good job by Lee. 
30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch lands. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of round number five. Going the winner by knockout, Root.